All right, before we go outside uh, to talk about the mower for a quick second, I wanted to show you guys that I'm finally getting around to repainting the Lowe's mower. I'm not sure when I will actually get to start because some of my classes are starting back up for my second semester, but this is Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch. It's a paint and primer. This is a navy blue. This will be for the hood of the mower. And this is the Rust-Oleum Professional. I'm pretty sure this is a gray. No, it's actually called aluminum, so that's the color of it. It's, they're both glossy, and I matched them up as good as I could. It, you know, it's not exact paint, you know, like the factory color, but it should look really good and really close to the factory colors because, as I've said in previous videos, I like to maintain some of the um, original originality of the mower. So there we go. There's a look at those those colors. Now let's go talk about the mower. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to my building. In one of my previous videos, I mentioned that I wanted to get uh, inner tubes put in my front tires, and I recently did that. So, let's go down to the building and get a tire gauge just to uh, just do the field test first. Now they feel good. Yeah, they feel about the same, but Let's go down to the building just to verify. All right, let's check these front tires, see what we got. Okay, we've still got seven in that one. That's good. Now, I know seven pounds is pretty low, but where most of the road, you know, it's a gravel road through the neighborhood, and there's a trail back there uh, in, in the woods. I like to kind of underinflate these a little bit so they have a bit of squishiness, you know, for going over rocks and stuff. You don't want your tires super tight, or there's a higher chance. Yep, that one has seven also. A higher chance of you know busting a tire and most of the weight well I guess technically that would be me in the driver's seat but there's a lot of weight here in the front too and it and it's a lot of bounciness it's the first thing to hit whatever I'm trying to go over so seven pounds is about half of what these tires call for but I think it's worth it all right here we go let's get back at it Here we go. Listen to this start up. Let's go down the hill here and try to get her warmed up a little bit. We're just in first gear right now, just kind of creeping. Creeping around. I'm telling you, I absolutely love this mower. I don't know why I have such an attachment to it. I think it's because of all the work that I put into it. You know, when I first got this mower a few years ago, it didn't 
didn't even run. It needed a starter. I just recently put a carburetor on it. You know, the engine's original, but, you know, I put like, all right, let's see if we can get up this hill. Let's do this one right here. I covered this in any of my previous videos but in terms of like a race mower it does go a lot faster I would say almost triple the speed that it went before I did the pulley changes but my top speed is like 20 miles per hour which isn't as fast as a lot of other race mowers people have on YouTube that do like 30 plus miles per hour but for me I don't really need that kind of speed and this is still plenty of fun to uh, ride around the neighborhood. So here we go.
little mud puddle. Sometimes I go through that, but apparently both of my wheels, the rear wheels on the transaxle, it's not like a two-wheel drive lawnmower. Apparently it's just the right wheel. So sometimes I get stuck in that, but you know, I try not to get it super muddy, and if I do, I, I spray it off before I park it in the building. But let's keep going. Second gear. There we go. I think we can do third. super fast on this little trail you know because I still try to respect that it's, it's an older mower and I don't want to beat it up too bad so I just kind of creep along down through here and it's a little bumpy but not too bad you know so as much as speed as this mower can get I don't try to super beat up on it a whole lot you know
go. That's the first time I think you guys have seen me drive the Lowe's mower on the channel. It runs a lot better with the new carburetor, so I'm really happy with that. I've wanted to make like a gas pedal instead of using this, but again, I just want to maintain kind of that original factoriness. I'm just making up words here of this mower. Now I have painted the wheels. I mean, they might be kind of muddy right now, but those look a lot better now that they're painted. And overall, it just, it runs really well. I haven't been able to find another mower like this anywhere like online i've seen maybe one or two others and but you know it's a lowe's branded mower with the 18 horsepower i'm pretty sure it's an opposed twin cylinder engine as you guys look at that and this was built by a company called noma which apparently isn't in business anymore anymore where's the tag i'm not sure if you guys will be able to see that but built by Noma, I think it's in Jackson, Tennessee. But yeah, so a bit of a, a rarity here too. So I try to take as good care of her as possible. And once I, it doesn't look too bad, you know, in terms of rust or anything like that. But it'll look super good once once it's painted. And I just want it to last as long as possible. The seat is in really good condition. Except for, let's see, there's a spot right here. But other than that, and there's a maybe a little tiny spot right there. But other than that, the seat is in good shape. And it's hard to find, you know. You see these mowers all over Marketplace and stuff. And they you can tell they've set out in the rain. But this one, I keep in the building. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. It says to take the fuel cap off before opening the hood. But it will fit. So there's a better look at it. The Briggs and Stratton, 18 horsepower. There you go. And it's been pretty easy to work on. This, this starter, something I put on years ago when I first got it. And the starter uh, solenoid is back in there. I'm not sure if you guys can see it or not. But it is right here. Fuel tank is original. Um, I've painted the exhaust. I think that's the second time I've painted them, but this is like a high heat silver gray paint. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, new spark plugs, as well as the ignition coil. That's new. And fuel lines, well, fuel line, I should say, is new. Right, going to the carburetor and I tried in one of my videos to get you guys a good look in there at the new carburetor but like I said it runs so much better it idles way better um, eventually it's been maybe a couple years since I put this fuel filter on and I have another one to put on so I'm gonna try to get around to that and also talked about this in a previous video but I put some thread sealer this is a piece of like galvanized pipe someone threaded into the oil drain bolt. Let me know what you guys think if you have a racing mower or just one you still use to mow the lawn with. And I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.